Okay, 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 it is Crypto Faceless. I remain faceless. I remain nameless, guys. Back at it again. Go ahead, give me a like right now on the way in. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure that you hit the subscribe button because we've got a lot to talk about today. I think Zen on ETH is about to go crazy. The whole Ethereum ecosystem is about to go crazy. And I'm going to be explaining that in today's video. But first, let's get into the wider market as usual. We got BTC sitting at around 70,700 as of the recording of today's video. Now, that's really interesting. Uh, I think we're like entering into the raging bull market side of the cycle right now. And I'm going to explain. All right. So yesterday we did get some bearish news. We did have a pullback on the FUD that came out yesterday. So we had the um, KuCoin FUD. That was one. Um, SEC going after KuCoin uh, exchange. Uh, not one of the bigger exchanges, but it is one of the bigger exchanges. Not one of the major. It's not like a Binance or a Coinbase, but it is a major exchange. Uh, and then the other FUD news was Coinbase losing their, you know, appeal for dismissal or their motion for dismissal. And basically, you know, the, the court said they have to, you know, face the SEC in court. Right. So that was a little bit of FUD right there. We saw the price of Bitcoin go from 71K all the way down to $68,000. The market was looking a little bit gloomy and doomy yesterday. Uh, but then. We got some bullish news, right? One thing about, you know, um, bearish news in a bull market and the raging portion of the bull market either doesn't affect the price or it's just a, or it's like a very short-lived pullback and then boom, it goes right back up. So we did get some bullish news and that being uh, some crazy news, actually. So basically, we got the uh, Fidelity, right? Fidelity, Fidelity <laughs> is um, they've basically just filed a spot ethereum etf right fidelity just filed a spot ethereum etf and not just that a spot ethereum etf with staking included let that sink in like i don't even <laughs> let that sink in man i don't even think you guys understand how bullish that is how bullish that is how many people are going to be entering the market you know you got fidelity fidelity is um a major one of the biggest or one of the biggest asset managers i think they they, they, they um they manage about 4.5 trillion dollars in assets let that sink in like 4.5 trillion dollars in assets all of their users are going to have the ability to, to hop into the etf the ethereum etf and then get staking as well you're going to get yield on your etf like this is crazy like you don't even understand what this means for um not only the, the the cycle right the bull run but for the ethereum ecosystem like this is what i want to focus on today guys because uh jack actually posted this right jack posted this today um this news about fidelity and their spot etf with staking and jack said this is bullish for all ethereum assets wow hashtag x1 hashtag zen right so you got jack saying this is bullish you got Jack saying, wow. Jack is not saying wow for no reason. And then at the end, he didn't just stop there. At the end, what did he do? Hashtag X1, hashtag Zen. Why do you think he's doing that, right? Why do you guys think I always say that the price of Zen is about to go up because of, you know, uh, market conditions? Certain market conditions have to be set and met. And the price of Zen is going to go crazy, right? Right now is what we're seeing. We're seeing those market conditions being met right now with this bullish news, which is going to kickstart everything. So everything you've already seen with regards to Solana, for example, every you know this whole bull has been about Solana, the ecosystem, this the newest layer one. They're they're well, it's not that new, but you know what I'm saying like people are flocking towards Solana, their meme coin. We've seen the price of Solana go up. This bull market has been all about Solana, right? We're going to see a shift now. We're actually already seeing a shift towards base right now, actually. Um, but we're going to see a shift towards Ethereum, right? With this news, this news about Fidelity, asset manager of $4.5 trillion is, is starting a spot ETF with staking. That's going to start a rally in Ethereum. And I'm telling you guys, we're about to see Ethereum at $10,000 very soon. <laughs> we're about to see ethereum at all this solana stuff is over right literally 
the Solana pump that you know it did its thing. The ecosystem did its thing. Uh, but all of that is over. It's gonna go to ETH. We're gonna see all the assets, just like Jack said. All of the Ethereum assets is bullish for all of those assets. We're gonna see all the assets on Ethereum, the meme coins on Ethereum, DEXs, coins, projects, everything on Ethereum is about to blow like crazy, along with the price of Ethereum, probably at uh, 10k before we even know it. Um, and it's gonna push up the price of Zen. I always say Zen on ETH is the one I, you know, everybody. You always ask me in the comments which which Zen are you talking about. I've been saying since the very beginning, Zen on ETH is the one that I'm looking for, the one I always get, the one I always talk about. But, but look, right? Let's go back to the Bitcoin ETF, right? The Bitcoin ETF. Larry Fink, CEO of BlackRock, he just was on Fox News just yesterday, and he said that the Bitcoin ETF, the iShares, the iBit, iBit is what it's called, right? Um, the inflows that they've received and the hype that they they received is more than any ETF has ever had ever ever the most inflows this bitcoin ETF the most inflows ever for any ETF ever let that sink in let that sink in what type of bull run we are about to have right now we got the anticipation leading up to the Ethereum ETF. So we got a lot of spot Ethereum ETFs that you know have their applications out waiting to be accepted, right? Now we have the Fidelity one with staking. Okay. This is not gonna get passed until later on in the year, right? So we don't have to worry about it getting passed anytime soon. And but like I always say on the channel, it's all about the leading up to the news. It's not about the actual news, it's about the leading up to the news, right? So and, uh, you know, I talked about this in my top call video, uh, top signals. Whatever happens before the halving is a catalyst. And whatever happens after the halving is a top signal. It's a principle that we follow here on the channel. Okay. So the fact that we're getting this news right now before the halving, this is a catalyst for the what's going to happen for the rest of the cycle. We're going to see Ethereum price go up crazy. We're going to see Ethereum coins go up crazy. Right. But when they actually approve the ETF later on in the year, maybe towards the end of the year, when, whenever, mid year, whatever. Right. <laughs> That's the top signal, guys. That's the top signal. Right. We're going to be thinking about taking our money out of the market during those times. OK. But the power of the anticipation of the news is everything. Look at the anticipation of the Bitcoin ETF. We went from 15K, 20K, 30K, 40K, 50K, 60K. All of that was anticipation until we got the news of the ETF, right? And then we got the ETF, and then it didn't even dump really, to be honest, right? We're still climbing, okay? But that was because we got the ETF news uh, or the ETF approval before the halving, right? Now, when we get this Ethereum approval, like I said, after the halving, sometime later in the year, that's a top signal, right? But the leading up to that event, the anticipation of a Fidelity ETF in Ethereum with staking, that's going to push the price of Ethereum up so crazy. It's going to push the price of all Ethereum assets up like crazy, including Zen on ETH. We're going to see price appreciation coming in with on Zen on ETH. I'm telling you right now, Zen on ETH is going to start going up, right? But then what's going to happen? Once we get a really high price in Ethereum, what's going to happen? We're also going to have really high gas fees. What happens when we have really high gas fees? People stop minting Zen. What happens when people stop minting Zen? They have no other choice but to get it or buy it off of the market. Why do they want to buy it off of the market? Because Jack is going to come out with X1. That's the market conditions I've been telling you guys for months on end. And it's coming into fruition right now. All right. Everything is coming into fruition right now. We're about to see Ethereum blast off like crazy due to, this, to, the, due to the anticipation of this ETF. Right. We're about to see the gas fees go up crazy due to the anticipation or due to the, the price appreciation, I should say, of Ethereum. Then we're about to see um, then we're, Jack is going to come out with X1 right in the middle of all of that hype, right in the middle of everybody going crazy over Ethereum assets and the Ethereum ecosystem going up. And what's going to happen? Oh, by the way, guys, you can only get or one of the main ways to get X1 is to buy Zen off of the open market. And then burn it 
So you can have a burn record and you can get an X1 allocation. It's genius. It's genius. It's genius. It's genius. We, like the market conditions are all set. We're about to see Zen rip. X1 is going to come out and then Zen is going to rip again, right? We're about to see two levels of like a price appreciation. First stage just going up because of the Ethereum ecosystem, ecosystem is about to go up. And then the second rip is going to be after X1 comes out. And we have moon parties. Jack, Jack is going to open up the moon parties. Guys, go burn your Zen. We're having moon parties. It's going to be crazy, guys. It's going to be crazy. A lot of people are wondering, how does the price of Zen go up? It's a hyperinflationary coin. It's infinite supply. It's keep com- it keeps coming out. How? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, your concerns are valid, right? Because it's designed to go down at the beginning, right? It's designed to go down for a really, really long time at the beginning. Uh, if, if you're in Zen, you know that we've, we've been in Zen for a year. It's been going down the whole time, right? Over a year, all right? But once market conditions are set, then it's going to pump like you've never seen something pump before ever, right? <laughs> this thing is going to rock it very soon. So stay tuned for the uh, price of ETH. Watch it like a hawk because the price of ETH is probably going to shoot up very soon. All the assets on ETH are, ETH are going to go up very soon. And then X1 is going to come out right in the middle of that, creating a storm for the Zen ecosystem. Now, uh, let's see what happens in Bitcoin right now. We want to get a close of, um, we want to get a close above 69K for the week, right? The weekly close, we want to get it above 69K, right? Right now we're sitting at, you know, 70K, 70 something, almost 71. So we're looking good. We've got a few more days to end the week, but if we can get this weekly close above 69K, the old previous all time high. Uh, like I said in my last video, guys, we're not going to be in the 70 case for long. It's going to shoot up. Price of Ethereum going to shoot up. Price of the altcoins are going to shoot up because we know what happens after ETH blows. The rest of the altcoins blow, right? It's the way the money moves in the cycle from Bitcoin to Ethereum to the alts, right? Man, anyway, I'm going to leave it there for today, guys. Let me know if you agree in the comment section. If you do not agree, let me know as well. If you haven't subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting on. Hit the subscribe button. Smash it. It is crypto faceless. I remain faceless. I remain nameless, guys. Take care.